Hello everyone. Welcome to the uh, Roda and Schwartz first impressions video. It's a digital multimeter HMC 8012. First, I got this box from Farnell. It's this big. And now I'm gonna open it. Here is what comes inside. First, at the top, we have a British type of cable. Then, this is the rest of Europe's cable. Uh, some silicon test leads and printed circuit. Uh, printed manual as described on the Roden Schwartz site. The bench multimeter itself is packed in this very strange, this is the first time I see such a box. And there it is. Here is the Roden Schwartz HMC 8012. I don't have the GPIB option installed. I don't really need it. Okay, it has very nice uh, legs in here. And we can see the warranty seal and now let's give it a try. The option for my country is set to 230 volts. Okay, now I will plug in the power cord and power of the device. Okay, at first it doesn't start because there is a switch at the back of the multimeter. I will turn it on now. There it goes. I assume now it's ready for operation. So let's press the button and see what happens. I see some, I hear some relays clicking. All right, I believe it's ready. At some point, I believe I heard a sound. Yes, a little bit of the beeper. All right, so now we are floating and the display is, I don't know if you can see it, the display is quite bright. I'm very happy with that. I have no complaints whatsoever. Excuse my camera. Uh, now I will plug in the cord of the device. I really like the white light of the buttons. It's not very bright, it's not very dim, it's just perfect. 
Okay, so up. I have to put those away. And I guess we're ready for some voltage measurements now. some random lithium, uh, lithium ion battery uh, let's see what happens oops okay now that's the resolution I'd like to have Five digits, wonderful. Okay. Right now, I will put some higher voltages with my homemade power supply. There it is, and now I will start to move it up. Over range, okay. I guess 20 volts. Is this range and we can go range up? Okay, uh, I don't get it. The range is 400 volts, but it still displays over range for some reason let's try auto range again no <laughs> okay okay so it appears that my uh, my second reading was over ranging so um, in order to for now just for now to turn it off we have to press second function here then here we press select and then with the knob we can select DC high or whatever or let's just put it to none for now when I press the jock I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a tune playing, actually. <laughs> Very funny. Now, if I turn the voltage up, I can measure in the 40 volt range without any problems. Okay, and my power supply allows for for as close as 40 volts okay that's my maximum for now uh, yes I have some problems with the knobs of my power supply so basically that's it look at this all right clipped oh yes my my cable got disconnected right so that's it for the voltage okay 
now I'll make some measurements for current I have a DC motor here I will connect it to my power supply and you can see the auto ranging of the current switch to 2 amperes my motor consumes at something like 1 ampere and 3 Okay, now I will switch it off. Now we are in the 20 milliampers range again. Right, now I will measure some uh, resistance. I have one kilo ohm resistor here. And there it is. Okay. Next, I will measure capacitance okay 47 nanofarads now display it as 49 because probably I'm touching it okay I lost the capacitor ah, never mind that now let's uh, let's see the diode function Maybe my diode is dead or something. Yes. Okay. I'll take another diode. Okay, so I was holding the diode the other way around, never mind that. Uh, here it is. You can hear the beeper uh, sounding, that's because the threshold is set to 0 0.7. We can actually change this threshold here. I can press this and with the knob I can put it to let's say 0 0.4 volts so I expect I expect that um, now this will be there will be no beeping uh, okay how do I confirm this uh, no okay maybe I don't have to confirm it let's see yes the the beeper now doesn't sound because the threshold value is 
is set to 0 0.5 volts okay I've watched some reviews about the beeper being a bit quiet I believe that this is not true to me the beeper is perfect in sound sound level okay and what else uh, if we use we can use uh, the measurements menu uh, okay we can use the measurements me menu and uh, for example we'll turn off the stats here if you believe that the stats are not needed and we can also change the secondary reading as I showed you in the beginning um, here is the second function I can select none okay and now you can display only the voltage and simply just one reading if you are confused by by the many digits like that okay well this was the first impressions video Thank you, thank you for watching.